Good day gamers, Purple Mentat here bringing you another vlog. So not many videos in the past week, we'll get to why in a moment. Well actually why is pretty simple, uh, Beyond Earth and Endless Legend consumed me. But I think I finally gotten my butt kicked on insane difficulty in Endless Legend enough that I've a little bit past the 4x bug for now. We'll see. No promises. Okay, so let's talk Patreon. Uh, I have something to show you guys. These are the postcards from the Patreon campaign, the ones that I was supposed to start sending out back in July. Anyway, we've got that one. There we go. That one there. This guy. And my personal favorite so far, the trick or treat card. These are fairly high quality. Nice, thick paper, as you can see, and I'm going to be excited to get those out. I've got a couple of hundred envelopes to fill out before they're going to actually get in the mail, and I'm probably about halfway through that so far, so you should be getting them soon. Plus, the one for October is currently printing. The way these work, or not October, for November. So the way I have these sorted, which they're now a mess because I was just tossing them on the desk as I went, is that... The very first one is for July, because I got the very first bit of money from Patreon in July. And after that, we've got August, September, and October. And now, the money that I just came in from your latest pledges that just got charged a couple of days ago, that is the November card. Now, if you're interested in the postcards, which are finally a real thing that I'm actually taking care of instead of, you know, panicking and stressing out and pushing off to the future. There is a Patreon reward option for them. I believe I have it set at 15 a month right now because of the cost and hassle of putting these together and getting them shipped out. If you're interested, please go to Patreon and bump your donation up to that much. You'll get access to the server and you will get the postcards. Now, other options on Patreon. I think in the very near future, probably a week or so from now, I'm going to do a reset on the rewards and the goals of Patreon because I want to kind of rethink everything. A lot has changed since I initially set most of them up, especially the goals. I've learned a lot about the true costs of what, like, I thought that I would be able to actually do full therapy with the medication that I wanted, and it's just not possible. Right now, the the Patreon and the YouTube and everything basically pay my expenses and cover what medical expenses I have allowed myself, which is pretty much talk therapy. So I need to go and I need to edit the goals and I need to change around the individual reward tiers. When I do this, and I'll put out another vlog letting you know, so don't panic right now. When I do this though, all of you who are currently in a reward tier are going to be set to no reward you will need to go back and edit your pledge and select which reward tier you want. And I'm going to think of some other ideas and such to actually have for reward tiers. If you have suggestions, leave them in the down below. I'll check them out. And if I like them, I'll use them. We are slightly delayed getting the whitelist set up. It should be going out on the 9th. I don't know if this video will be up tonight on the 8th. It's currently 6 p.m. as I'm recording this. And it just might not be possible to get it all encoded and uploaded and ready to go in the time I have. Anyway, point is, uh, we're a little delayed getting the whitelist updated because there's been some real issues with the Phoenix Craft Pack. I think there's stability problems in some of the mods that they used. I know that people do not like Antique Atlas and that Antique Atlas doesn't even play friendly with vanilla. If you try to toss it into an anvil, to rename it so say you want like a twilight forest atlas that with a bunch of waypoints and an overworld atlas and you want to rename them you crash the server not just your client the whole dang server so because lately we've been having like gargantuan lag spikes and the place has just been unstable and unplayable we are going to be unfortunately changing packs again but this time we're going to go to a nice heavily supported stable mainstream pack we're changing over to the direwolf 20 pack even though that's not necessarily my cup of tea simply because i know that there's going to be it's going to focus very heavily on stability and 
I have reports already. I've seen Pahimar talking about his Patreon server. The thing is taking a beating and keeping on ticking. So that's where we're at on that. By the way, our Patreon server, the purple patron server is hosted on Akla's web hosting. There's a link in the down below. They are phenomenal. They are one of the best hosting companies I've worked with. Really great performance. And I absolutely adore their, uh, what do you call it? The control panel. So what's happening with Phoenix Craft? We're not actually deleting anything. It's just kind of getting put into cold storage thanks to Atlas's control panel, which allows you to very quickly and easily hot swap one pack to another. And that should all be going live sometime tonight or tomorrow. It'll change over to the Direwolf 20 pack, whatever the latest version is on the Feed the Beast launcher right now. And then after that's all set up, the whitelist will get updated. You guys will be in. Thank you again for your support. So let's talk videos. In, over the next week, I want to do as much as I can of Mark and the Ninja and get that finished up. I'm also going to be doing more Don't Starve Together with Sice because that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm not going to be releasing traditional Let's Play video content for Minecraft. However, I am going to be streaming both Crash Landing and Running Red and uploading the streams in chunks to YouTube to finish out those packs because I'm near the end of both. I want to get them finished, but I just don't feel the Let's Play vibe for Minecraft right now. And maybe it's just because of Twitch is so much more immediate and so much more interactive and feels right for, for the Let's Play. I don't know. I'm experimenting. We'll see what works out. What I am going to be doing is I'm going to be putting together a couple of tutorials on different mods. And the way I'm going to do those tutorials is block by block by block. Here's everything you need to do from a survival standpoint to progress through the mod, starting from you have nothing in a brand new world except some stone tools that you just punched out of a mountain, all the way up to massive whatever the end game of that mod is. And I'm going to start these tutorials from a mod sauce server run by German man, meaty lock and a handful of others. Um, Isaac from gaming on calf's fiend. I'm drawing a Blake on names and I don't have a list in front of me. Uh, pyro and his name starts with a K. I'm bad at names and I am sorry, but all of their channels are linked below. I'm going to be linking both to their channels and to their playlist for that series. I've been hanging out with them a little bit here and there, but I haven't been on the server a whole lot. Now I'm going to be spending a lot more time there getting these videos set up. And in each of those videos, I'll have a link to their channels. Now, what else is on the plate? So for Twitch, I'm planning on playing some more 4X games. I'm really attached to Endless Legends right now. I want to go back and I want to do a Civ Beyond Earth game on day. Or is it Deity? No, it's not. Whatever their highest difficulty is, I haven't done that one yet. Endless Legends, I have hit the second highest difficulty like a brick wall. It trashed me. I need to completely rethink my approach. So we're going to be doing some more of that. Uh, it's November. The WoW expansion is releasing. I'm hanging out with the uh, Forgecraft people on World of Warcraft, and I'll likely be streaming some of that, especially launch day. I'm going to see if I can do like a marathon stream or something. Going to be doing more Diablo. There's new content coming to Diablo 3, a whole new set of zones, which I am really excited for. So that's going to be fun. And I'm planning on digging back into some Dungeon Defenders with uh, some people because I haven't played that in a long time. And Eternity just came out a few months ago. And, well, it launched really rocky and had a lot of issues. But now it seems like they finally got things sorted out. And I want to step into what they consider the definitive version of the game. So those are my plans for the next couple of weeks. Hopefully you'll be seeing more content showing up on YouTube. I'm having a bit of an issue with open broadcaster software right now where it's not properly transcribing the videos I record while streaming. Like it's supposed to both record and stream, but it's not doing the record part, or at least it's not finishing the record part gracefully. I don't know. I don't know how to fix that. I don't know what's up with that. I don't, I have no idea. I need to dig into it and try to figure it out. And this is going to be very important before I do the 
crash landing and running red stuff. I can download the video from Twitch and then do my editing, but it's just not very high quality, you know? I end up with whatever Twitch recorded and then I download, uh, whatever Twitch encoded, then I download it, then I re-encode it, and that's a mess. Anyway, that's the channel news. Uh, the me news. I've been pretty happy this week. Things are good. Uh, things are going great with the Apollo Cat. Um, mental health is pretty good. Physical health could use a little bit of work, uh, but I got one of these things to help with that, actually. And I just got it a couple of days ago, and I'm doing a whole, like, monitor... This is a Fitbit Flex, I think it's called. I don't know. There's, like, a hundred different varieties of Fitbit. But it is effectively a pedometer and fitness tracker that I'm going to be using now to better motivate myself. And uh, it's a fun little thing. I can tap it twice, and it pops up and shows me just how slovenly and such I've been today. Each um, light there is 20% of my goal. Yeah, I'm not really getting close to my goal, but I'm following the advice, uh, some advice that I found looking through our fitness and such that are talking about how you should spend a week just monitoring your current activity level so you can get a good idea of how much you need to change. And right now it looks like my standard activity level has me hitting about 50% of the general get up and move that I want to every day. And just because of my sheer weight, I'm burning more calories than I'm eating, so I should be dropping pounds slowly but surely over time. Apparently, to sustain basic life processes for something, this, all of this, it takes a lot of energy. Which, hey, I mean, I guess that makes my life easier until I get down below the uh, ridiculously large stage. You know, back into more of a 2x instead of a 3. That'd be good. As far as mental health is concerned, uh, the paperwork is processing to get the full insurance so that I can get to the medications and therapy uh, and everything on the kind of basis that I want instead of dealing with over-the-counter supplements and the more occasional talk therapy than I probably should be going to. All right, let's talk about what some of you said to the last vlog. Um, I had one, pr a lot of comments on the beard. Either you were expecting it to be more or expecting it to be less, or there was one person who said I looked like the cross, a the mutant child of Wolverine and Peter Griffin, and I don't know if I should thank them or, you know, hurl them out of a window. But one comment that came through that I found very interesting, uh, wanted to respond with was about the mustache, and they were commenting that it looked lopsided and weird and I should shave it off. A couple of, there were a few negative comments, but not nearly as many as I expected. So thank you all for that. In fact, I only had one guy spend, waste time in uh, cursing at me and calling me fat out of hundreds of comments. So that's amazing. Like, where is the internet and who are you people? Um, so yeah, the thing with the mustache is it, it's a bit of a nervous tick, but I chew at it when it gets too long. I need to get like a, a better trimmer. The, the buzzy thing that I have doesn't really keep it all in line. So the plan with that is definitely go to the barber, get everything sorted. And yeah, uh, just get everything trimmed, get everything even, get everything uh, a little more in order. I try not to freak out too much about it because I get really um obsessive about making sure that every single hair is in its proper place both in my beard and on my head I'm wearing the hat today because i just could not take my hair was not able to deal with it and you guys needed to get the news so i wasn't gonna wait um but yeah that that's an anxious tick that i'm not willing to tackle yet because there's far more important ones that i need to deal with before i deal with my general obsessiveness about keeping my hair just right I think that covers everything I wanted to cover for right now. Thank you very much for joining me. See you soon.